feast of the baptism of Jesus. Today's celebration marks the end of the Christmas season and opens the new season, the ordinary season of the church's liturgical year. Baptism is a sacrament which cleanses us from original sin, makes us Christians, children of God and heirs of heaven. It is a sacrament of regeneration by water and the word. By nature we are born from Adam, children of wrath, but by baptism we are regenerated in Christ as children of mercy. For Christ gave power to us to be made sons and daughters of God. Because for those of us who believe, he has given us this power in his name, because we are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but the will of God. The word baptism is derived from the Greek word baptizo, to wash, to dip, or to immerse. It signifies, therefore, that washing is the essential idea of the sacrament. The related word washing or baptizing, baptismos, refers to the act of dipping or immersing an object in water as part of a purification ritual. It is accepted as a necessary doorway to salvation. Baptism is the first sacrament and gives access to the others. Jesus himself was baptized and this is attested by all four Gospels. Matthew chapter 3 verse 13 to 17 Mark chapter 1 verse 9 to 11, Luke chapter 3 verse 21 and 22, and John chapter 1 verse 29 to 34. Surprisingly, Jesus was baptized by John. We know very well that John the Baptist preached a baptism for the forgiveness of sins, but he himself declared that his was not the final baptism. He anticipated the baptism of the Spirit that would be brought by Christ. Mark chapter 1 verse 8. John preached repentance and the forgiveness of sins in the tradition of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 31. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25 to 26. Even as he proclaimed that the one who would follow him would baptize not only with water, but with fire and the Spirit. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 Though Jesus, Son of God, was sinless, he was baptized. This is so surprising, It's as we said above, knowing that the baptism given by John was quite different from the usual ablutions, and this baptism was meant to be the concrete enactment of a conversion that gives the whole of life a new direction forever. With all this, we ask again, why does the sinless Jesus submit to such a baptism? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 insist on the fact that Jesus was sinless. It is because Jesus wanted to stand with sinners. When Jesus came to be baptized, he signaled his sharing of true union with the sinful humanity he had come to redeem. Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. Matthew alone, as we heard in the gospel of today, introduces a dialogue between John and Jesus. John rightly perceived a moral mismatch between himself and Jesus. And thus, when Jesus came to him, he tried unsuccessfully to stop him from being baptized. Jesus, however, has a deeper understanding of God's will than John, for he insists that he and the Baptist must fulfill God's just demands. In thus presenting himself, he is in effect dedicating, he in effect dedicated or consecrated himself to the work of fulfilling all righteousness. Looking at the baptism of Jesus as presented above, one may want to know its importance for Christian life. The importance is already seen by the fact that Jesus himself accepted baptism. 
Jesus also affirms its necessity for salvation in John chapter 3 verse 5. No doubt, the Catechism of the Catholic Church states, Baptism is necessary for those to whom the Gospel has been proclaimed and who have, been, who have had the possibility of asking for this sacrament. Catechism of the Catholic Church number 1257 As a sacrament, baptism gives us sanctifying grace and also makes us adopted children of God and heads of heaven. At Jesus' baptism, we hear God's call again, recognizing us as his beloved, Agapetos. We are adopted children because God the Father has only one begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He is God's Son through generation. The rest of us become God's children by adoption. Through baptism, we gain the washing of regeneration and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Catechism of the Catholic Church number 1215. We believe in one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. An origin insists that it is not possible to receive forgiveness of sins without baptism. May God give us the grace through this baptism to remain his true sons by adoption. And may Almighty God bless and sanctify you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.